Hello, my name is Joshua and I'm going to teach you how to use filters to do shading in Flash. Now, there's probably better ways to do this with Photoshop and junk like that, but this is just to give you an example of what you can do using filters with Flash. You know, it's not a conventional way of doing things and definitely not efficient when it comes to animation and things like that. You would instead probably want to use bitmaps and things like that to do it because it's very very CPU intensive. Now here's a example of a finished work I did using this method. Now this lovely lady here I like to call her Betty. Betty the nurse. Now you can see I simply use drop shadow filters to do the shading on her and it's probably not the best job but again we're gonna this was sort of an early experiment so I'm gonna show you a little more things on how to do. So for now let's just open up Flash and now here we go here's uh, something I did earlier just to sort of give you an example of what we're gonna do here today um, as you can see uh, it gives we did I did the shading in Flash with using filters and it gives it a, a spherical look and you can see this is in fact filters so just go over there now you see it's a vector image we unlock these layers yeah there go down to the filters panel and you see drop shadow filters that's all it is blur filters whatever now let's uh, open a new file to work in and there we go now real quick if you don't know how to use flash stop the video and learn so let's go ahead and make an oval don't need uh, an outline now let's make a circle there center him to the stage and let's turn him into a symbol name it whatever you want I don't really care there we go now let's go up here and make a new layer just to separate things make two new layers now go back down here Ooh, way off go here copy him and paste him onto layer 2 for now and now let's go into the filters panel now let's add a drop shadow filter hide object and inner shadow now you can already see this has you can kinda of see where I'm going with the whole shadows with filters but obviously this doesn't look like uh, this doesn't look like shading so let's go ahead and fix it just adjust the values now there's no guaranteed way to make this look good I'm just fussing around it's all experimentation now for an effect like this particularly you probably want to use a radial fill but you can't use radial fills to do shading on more complex objects so no don't use radial fills for that so now you can see it already has more of a spherical look to it just adjust the values and now let's add a bit of highlight to it copy this symbol into layer 3 right there we go go back down to the filters panel change the color to white and fuss around with the values again nah. now there you can already see it kinda has a little more of an interesting look to it whatever even if it doesn't look great it sure as hell looks a lot better than this so yeah you can see looks a lot more interesting and you couldn't get this really with uh, this kind of effect by simply using a radial fill so yeah a lot more interesting gives it a nice spherical look 
Still looks like crap, but we're just sort of, you know, scratching the surface here. And, you know, this is all experimentation. Again, you have to fuss around with it, try to get something that looks nice. Because when you first start off, it's going to look like crap. Guaranteed. So let's just erase all that. Erase that in the library, because we are going to need it. And, uh, yeah, let's get started again. Now let's go over here. Let's create a layer. Let's change that to outline. You don't really need to name it. I'm just doing it to separate things. And let's call this shadow. There. Color, shadow, outline. Just so you see where we're going. Now let's go down there. Let's make the line weight of the shadow, of, well, of the circle. 10 and let's start drawing circles get that out of the way one big circle one circle and one tiny circle yeah let's just get rid of that make that bigger so you can see what i'm doing there. now let's go add emitter emitter to that so it makes the outlines look nicer and we're going to go up to Modify, Shape, Convert to Lines. So there we go. Well, Convert Lines to Fill. So now the outlines are now filled. Copy that into the Outline layer. Now it's an outline. And this is in color. Now let's go just change that into a drawing object for whatever reason and copy it into the shadow layer and change that instance into a symbol we're going to call it shade yeah. for now well no actually <laughs> screw that we're going to call this snowman yeah we're going to go down here just change that the color of this real quick And let's go to the filters panel. We're going to add a drop shadow filter again. Hide object in our shadow. And fuss around with the values. There. Whatever. For now, we're just going to leave them like that. Now let's go back up to the layers, add a new one, call it Highlight. Highlights. Whatever. Like the magazine. Okay, now let's copy this into the Highlights layer. So now you can see we have a new instance. And let's go back down to the filters. Change the color. Take that around, fuss with the values, whatever. It's not supposed to look great, just trying to give you an example of the things. There we go. Now we have a nice, beautiful snowman here. Now, let's dress him up a little. Grab my handy dandy tablet. And I just made a new layer up here, as you can see. Layer 5. Now, I'm going to draw on that layer. Lock everything else. And that color. Now let's give him a, a nice little carrot nose. Two eyes. And some buttons. Yeah, there we go. Snowman. Because this looks a lot more interesting than this. Or that. Yeah, I'm more interesting. So let's go on to one final example. 